Hello and Happy New Year. I thought for a change this year I'd give you a different backdrop, a different scenery. I'm very privileged to be able to wake up every morning and look at this beautiful view out here. But what I'm going to talk to you today is about personal branding. Now I'm Sally Inkster and I help entrepreneurs, new entrepreneurs and small business owners to sparkle and to look fantastic, stand out in the crowd, allowing them to gain confidence and go into the world and show exactly who they are and what their business is. So what is personal brand? Well, personal brand is different to all of us, but in essence, it's how we reflect ourselves to others. And then Jeff Bezos, who was the founder of Amazon, he summed it up brilliantly. He said, it's what other people say about you when you're not into the room. So what do people or what do you think people say to you when you're not in the room? Think about that, but then think about what you'd like them to say. The problem is with us is that we have such busy lives. We are trying to run our businesses and we are out there marketing, we're advertising, we're using social media. But how often do we take time to really reflect and focus on the most important thing in your business, which is you? Now, most of us acknowledge that we have a personal brand. Unfortunately, that personal brand comes by default and definitely very, very often not by design. And we need to change that. So lots of you will have made New Year's resolutions, I'm absolutely sure. And those New Year's resolutions may have been around your diet, around fitness, around decluttering, about perhaps not doing dry January. And all of those are involved in our mindset, but all of them as well a part of our personal branding. They reflect us and they reflect bits back to other people. So how about in 2020, if we gave ourselves the massive gift of having 2020 vision into who we are and gave us massive clarity over our personal brand. So I want you to imagine something in your head. Just imagine that you're standing next to somebody else you don't particularly know. You turn to them and you say, hello, happy new year, and you shake their hand. That would probably take three seconds. What have we discovered about somebody in three seconds? Well, number one, we would notice whether they made eye contact with us, what their facial expressions were, whether they smiled or whether they looked a bit disgruntled or a bit surprised. We would also know how they felt to touch. Was their handshake at one of those wet fish or was it really firm or was it too firm? What they smelt like. Did they smell of wonderful perfume or was it last night's garlic? What their voice was like and also what the clothes and how they looked and what their posture was. Was it, oh, I really can't bother to do this, or hello, there's a difference in our energy and our posture. We picked all that up in three seconds. Can you imagine what will happen in a longer time than that? Now, I could stand here and give you lots of tricks and tips, oh, no, tips and tricks that will help you kickstart your personal branding, but I always start with the first three, the three PHs of personal brand and they are philosophy. Now philosophy is a theory or attitude that guides our behaviours. Then there's physicality. Physicality is what we look like. There's a saying that style is a way of telling people who we are without using any words. And then there is the phenomenon of your brand because your brand is phenomenal. And phenomenal means that something's remarkable. But for your business to come over as being um, phenomenal, you have to know exactly who you are and what your business is. So in 2020, I wish for you that you can get 2020 vision and more importantly, give your clients or your customers the ability to see you and your, your business with 2020 vision. There's a saying that it 
It is very hard to read the label when you're inside the jar. We are so close to ourselves and our business that quite often we don't understand what it means and what it is or how it comes across. And that's what we have to work on because otherwise all our marketing and all our advertising and all our network actually is useless. It's a waste of time because that's we're not doing what is us. And so it is so important that you drill down into those three PHs. And over the next few videos, I'm gonna really, really dig deep into that philosophy, that physicality, and that phenomenon that, oh, I can't say that word, <laughs> that phenomenon that is your brand. Anyway, look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye.